So this is the more advanced version of the thigh and seat work, or the parallel and hinge. And this, this becomes available to you after you've gotten strong in your position. You can keep your form, and you can definitely maintain that form as you go a little bit bigger range of motion. So let me just show you what it looks like. We're going to take the legs into parallel again, holding on to your support. Heels are going to raise up. You're going to bring your ears over your shoulders, over your hips, and over your heels. You're going to zip your abs up. Keep a natural spine. So there's your form. You've got that, right? Slide down that imaginary pull until you feel the fire. From there, maintaining your form, you go down a few inches and up a few inches. Making sure you're not tucking the pelvis and up a few inches. Make sure the knees stay together. Down a few inches and up. You'll feel a lot more action in that outer thigh area, up a few inches. Make sure your knees stay together and you really engage the inner thighs. So that's the more full range of motion parallel. It's going to give you a little bit more action in the legs. And then when you take it into the hinge, we're going to slide the outside leg back, shift hips forward, or shift shoulders, upper body forward, zip up. Now lift the leg off, and instead of just the little fire up, we're going to go hinge down and up. And then as you go down at the top, you're just going to give that little leg lift in the back. And so now we're going to get a lot more action in this standing hip as well as this hip. So we're going down, lift, up, up, down, lift, up. Make sure your abs stay lifted and your back is not part of the movement. Your back is steady and stable and secure. And it's just the pelvis going over that standing leg. So as soon as you feel ready for that, you can add that advanced positioning onto your routine to just kick it up a notch.